All right, on the subject of sliding, something really cool that you could look at, and a, a number of artists use these sorts of things. I always think of Joe Satriani as being one of the, um, the key per people in my life that do a lot of this stuff. But I want to show you this. This is from Voodoo Child from Stevie Ray Vaughan, okay? And it's about, I don't even know, measure 62 or so into the song, somewhere around there. He does this really cool descending sliding lick, which is very reminiscent for me of, of something that Joe Satriani would do. And so let's take a look. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to use these notes. He's in the key of E. He's playing uh, Voodoo Child. Okay, so he's in the key of E. He would be tuned down a half step, of course, but we're going to just be standard for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using these notes. I'm going to use 14, 12, 11, 9, 7, 6, 4, 2. Okay, so... Those are the notes that we're going to be using for this. Now, I'm not playing this exactly the way Stevie does it, and I'm not sure that he ever played it the same way twice either, okay? But what we're looking for here is trying to get this to be kind of unique and use it in your playing as well. And what we're going to be doing is, is trying to create a little pattern. We're, using some, we're going to start with just that. We're going to just build a basic pattern here where we're going like this. Okay, so what I'm doing right there is I'm going to play this 12, I'm going to hammer, pull off, and go to 11, hammer, pull, go to 9, hammer, pull, go to 7, 6. So I just want you to start with that. Just get used to going. Now what you'll notice is I'm not going. Although that's perfectly fine to be able to play them all even. Okay, so what I'm doing is giving it a little bit of a skip in there, okay? So that's the first thing, is just to get comfortable with being able to move down using that idea, okay? Now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding some movement. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. One way is to slide back up, so watch this. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this finger here. When I get to that 9, I'm going to go here and slide back up. Sorry. Hear that? So I can do that anywhere. and get this again, kind of exotic sound happening. So I'm just sliding up with whatever finger I'm on on the, on the opposite side here, okay, on my picking side. And that's how Stevie and, again, so many of these other players start getting some really interesting sounds is not to just play it as a steady pattern or constant. You know, you don't just have to go... And you don't have to go... And do every one of them the same way. What you do is you kind of mix and match them. You kind of move back and forth like that. And you can jump around... create some really cool sounds too. So explore that a little bit and see what you can come up with for some creative ideas. Thank you for watching this video. If you're enjoying this video and you'd like to support the channel so we can continue to bring you more free content, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you'd like more in-depth training and courses, go to guitarzoom.com and get started for free today.